G'day guys. Today is the first chance we're going to get to use our new Vulcan lock ring, lock trace, Aircon gas leak detector. So let's open it up, let's have a look. Charger. It's obviously a Euro plug, so you get the adapter there. So I got mine from Cool Drive in uh, in Wangara. Obviously, that's near where I work. So if you're in Australia, you can get them direct from Cool Drive. Um, great guys to deal with, got looked after there by the fellas. So I've got this kit from them. So we're gonna test it out. We're gonna go over to this Subaru that's come in for no air con, which we know has a leak. And we're gonna see if we can find a leak and how it, how it works and where it's coming from. So we are set up, we've got our tracer gas. So this is a tracer gas setup. It's got 5% hydrogen. And obviously I didn't mention earlier, but the lock tracer is a hydrogen tester. So the theory is that hydrogen is a lighter particle. So smaller leaks are easier to find. The hydrogen particles can, can obviously come out of those small leaks and it will be easier to find with a hydrogen leak detector. So we've got our regulator set up, bottle pressure, um, our pressure in the system, which I've already just put some in. We've just got a line connected up to the high side. You can use one on the low side too. So we're just gonna turn on the regulator. Turn on the bottle. Let's bump up the pressure. About 200 PSI. We'll just turn it off. And they do say that you should really only put it up to about 150 PSI, but you know, if we just use a little bit of logic and look at the systems, what we're dealing with, then if we know what sort of pressures these systems work out on each particular car, we can probably, you know, use a percentage of that instead of saying 150 is maximum. So we're gonna go over, we're gonna get the uh, lock tracer and turn it on, and then we're gonna run around with it and see what we can find. So this is it, like I said to you, it's a hydrogen detector and it's very accurate. It doesn't give you false readings. It has two sensors in the end to avoid false readings. So what we do is we turn this puppy on by holding this button and what it's doing is calibrating itself, heating up the end. So it's calibrating at the moment. It's getting ready to set up and, and smell some hydrogen if we do have a leak, which we suspect that we do. Once that stops flashing and it starts beeping, we know it's ready to go. So basically what we do is we go over the whole system. Slowly, you move it slowly because obviously if you pass over it very quickly, if it's a small leak, it's not gonna show up. So I'll do this in fast forward for you. So you're not boring yourself to death. So now we've done the whole system out here, we'll go inside. There's a few ways to do the interior. Some people say close all the windows, run the fan and let it cycle through. Um, it depends how bad the leak is, but we're just gonna go inside first and we're gonna stick it in the vents and see if we smell anything. If not, we'll turn the key on and just put the fan on number one, see if we can help it, and then go from there. So. There lies the problem already. Let's just get that back in fresh air. Let it calm back down and get rid of that hydrogen smell. But I've had this gas set up for probably about half an hour, so it's probably leaked out quite a bit. So you can see how bad it is. It shows us the leak straight away. So we're back to normal. Let's go to the interior vent. Oh look, it's already smelling it. It's already starting to smell it here. So as we go closer, There you go. So we know we have a leak behind the dash. The evaporator is most likely leaking, but at the end of the day, we've got to get to that back area. And it's told us that straight away. It took all of about five minutes to connect up the actual tracer bottle and then pressurize it. And then obviously grabbing this thing, waving it around.
my way pretty bad leak but yeah so as you can see it's quite a great tool um took like, as i said yeah took about you know 10 minutes to in total to do absolutely everything from when the car came into diagnosing it so it's a great little system um you know the other ways this i'm sure there's plenty of other ways you know uv dye people will regas them use uv dye and then try and find it that way but obviously that's not the right thing to do um pressurize it with nitrogen which you can do also uh, you can use the refrigerant sniffers which in my experience are, are highly highly unreliable so um that's why I, I thought i wanted to get one of these try it out i saw a few people use them I'm just going to turn it off um and yeah well look to be honest with you if we didn't have this uh, we probably would have searched high and low for the leaks under the bonnet and then got under here and had to pull trims and blow motors out and get mirrors and uv lights and bore scopes and try and find the leak so a uh, pretty handy tool time saver and we know what to do we can quote the customer now all right here we are guys the evaporator is out and as you can see down the bottom here this is where the leak was so it's pretty amazing that was all the way at the back of the dash and the lock tracer picked it up and look like i said before i know there's other ways of doing this and each to their own i just wanted a pretty simple way with a with a decent set of tools and obviously i, I found that and i wanted to give it a go and it works really great so that's all we're doing here guys we're just showing you that there's alternative methods and this is one of them and it's a great uh, little toolkit to set up and use so thank you for watching hopefully it sparks a bit of interest for you and uh, if it does then please like and subscribe thank you very much